Good morning, all. Um, have a fairly straightforward problem, but it's kind of interesting because it combines just basic algebra with the notion of percentage. Now, what we're looking for is the value of x in this equation that will induce a natural number percentage solution. And uh, just to be clear on, on what, what I mean by that, uh, let's say 43%. 43% Forty three is a natural number. Forty three percent. This little symbol here means it means forty three per century or forty three per hundred. That actually means forty three over one hundred. So you literally can replace this symbol with just the proper fraction forty three over one hundred. The percentages don't always have to be proper fractions. They commonly are. But we have 43 over uh, 100 right here. Okay. And so folks, the rest of this, the rest of this um, is just rewriting this uh, since 43% as a natural number percentage equals to 43 over 100. We do the very same thing right here. We just take this equation, replace 3x minus one percentage with 3x minus one over 100, okay, 3x minus one over 100. And then two fractions can be equal if and only if the cross multiplications are equal. And so this is what happens right here. When you cross multiply from here to here, you get this statement on the left-hand side, 100x squared plus 500. And then it took a little bit of work. You had to, you had to distribute everything out here, but when you multiply 10x plus 220 times the quantity 3x minus one, you get these three terms on the right hand side. Now, if you collect like terms and make it in a, a quadratic, you end up with this statement right here, okay? Now this initially looks kind of difficult as far as factoring goes, but you can divide by 10 to make the task a little easier. We do know this is gonna be a trial and error process, or you can use this quadratic if you want. But uh, anyway, seven X and X definitely re are required in these two positions here. And notice that the the, the factor pairs um, four and 18, four times 18 couldn't work because they're both even numbers, right? And the sum of two even numbers is even, so you, we need an odd number in the middle. So this is not effective. Uh, also, what else? Two times 36. These factor pairs would would not work because again they're they're pro they're even they're even numbers and their sum is even. Okay, so two and thirty six uh, not effective. Okay, they're, neither one of these factor pairs would be effective. So that that kind of cuts down on the trial and error if you chose not to use the quadratic formula here. Now again, we are looking for um, an uh, integer percentage, and so the only one that would work right here would be x equals eight. So uh, x equals eight uh, would be the solution. Now that x equals nine over seven is another solution, but it just wouldn't be an integer percentage. So that's all we we're looking for. So uh, x equals eight is the solution we're seeking. Okay, now notice here, just as a check, if you don't believe this, if you put eight here, you get 64, 64 plus five is 69. And down here, you would get 300, so you would get uh, 69, uh, 69 over uh, 300. And y'all, again, what I did, I'm just substituting eight right here. This is 64 plus five gives you 69 up here. Uh, 80 plus 220 gives you 300 here. And then right over here, if you substitute eight right here, you get 24 minus one is 23. And you get these equivalent fractions, 23 over 100. Okay, so we did find the value of X right here that induced uh, 
you know, again, you would get nine over seven, but that wouldn't be a, that would also be a valid answer. Just wouldn't be a, a natural number uh, percentage. Hey, y'all hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know what you think.